Hi. Hi. Hello. Hey, thank you for this. It's beautiful. Oh, yeah, I got you two of them. With my blue shirt, I thought it looked pretty good. Yeah. I feel like the Pillsbury Doughboy, or the, no, a Marshmallow Boy or something, <laughs> but it looks good. Does it look okay? Yeah, you need a hat. Don't well, you think uh, he not needs doing a hat? hat? No, no, I'm not doing a hat. I think he needs mm -hmm. a hat. Chef hat? No, uh -uh. not doing it. I wonder if they make I don't one like hats. Size. No. I like to buy hats, don't like to wear them. <laughs> That's um, the truth. It is the truth. Yeah, it really is. That's the truth. Yes, yes. Oh, now you're going to blow your nose, huh? Sorry. It's allergy season down here. Yeah. It, believe it or not, the allergies get I to get, us Get here. to us a little yeah. bit during this it's time It's taken here. us a few years yeah. to react to it, but... Um, I am doing something that probably would work better today. It's Saturday. Up in like Calgary, where my friend, pastor friend, is up in Calgary. I just looked. It's 20 degrees and it feels like 11 degrees oh, in man. Calgary with snow. Wow. It's a mess. Uh, that's where this would really work. I mean, here we are. It's 81 degrees, no humidity. I'm watch looking out the window on this Saturday afternoon. There are ski water skiing, boating, or on the uh, lake, on the river rather. But it's still good. Right. This, did you ever think you'd be making this? No, I never really did. No, this is a restaurant dish. Yeah, so this is, very simply, it's a French onion soup, and I'm really looking forward to making this. It's easy. I, as I investigated the various French onion soup recipes, this is it's really an easy deal. Basically, all I'm doing, uh, I'm actually going to put up the recipe for four soups. I'm only going to do two in these crops. You're thinking of soups and drooling. Yeah, I know it. And um, and so I'm cutting everything in half. And uh, But basically, it's going to be some butter, some onion. I'm going to do some Swiss cheese. I'm also going to do some Gruyere, which, by the way, you can do when you get ready to mm. coat this and put it in the oven, you know, the broiler. You can do either slices of Gruyere or Swiss. I'm actually going to mess with it. I'll put a couple of slices of Swiss because everything goes good with cheese. And then I'll shred some Gruyere on top of that and it'll be phenomenal. I'm even going to, you could get your own you know, bag of croutons and all that. But I've got, I found some bread and I'm going to make my own croutons. And I got the onion. I needed a little bit of uh, beef stock. Not a little bit, about two and a half cups for this. I'm gonna need about, oh, about three tablespoons of a, uh, one of the recipes I saw called for, and I understand it, um, a dry sherry, which uh, you can use a red wine, and I've got a Pinot Noir, 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 uh, no I don't either. <laughs> I just know it's a dry wine, and you, I only need three tablespoons. It gives a little bit of nice depth uh, when it cooks. And really, the only thing with this... Oh, one more thing. Oh, and thyme. Yeah, time we're going to put thyme from our garden. Which we will show you one. Yeah. But the only thing with this, it's not quick, per se, but it's easy, super easy, because all you're doing is going to caramelize the onions or get them even translucent. I'm going to take them a little further and caramelize them until they're brown. So that may okay. take 20, 30 minutes. You? Yeah. Let's just do it. Okay, I'll do it. All right. Okay, great. Yeah, okay. So here we go. I've got, I want about um, three um, cups uh, of, of sliced onion. And I'm going to get this fire going here. We're going to melt that unsalted butter. I've got a half a stick of unsalted butter uh, in there. And I, I use the Kerrygold because I like the creaminess of it. Again, I'm looking always for flavor, and I'm looking for uh, a richness of flavor. And, and, you know, using the right kind of butter does that. Three cups of, um, you know, here we go. That's about three, I think. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit more. Um, of onion is about one and a half, one to one and a half uh, onions. It depends on how big they are. And you can use Spanish onion which is what I've got here, or a uh, Vidalia. And Vidalia would be very good because uh, it's sweet and it, it, it's gonna lend. And honestly, the way I'm doing the onions, caramelizing them a little longer than normal, I'm gonna get them brown and it's gonna take about 30 minutes of uh, looking after a little bit because I do want a sweeter, if you can say it that way, a sweeter uh, onion, taste. onion taste. Yeah, I, I really do. Oh, it's going to be good. 
it's going to be good. I think you're going to enjoy it. And what, a, what after? You know, this is a nice little dinner for us here. Yeah, it is. So I'm feeling like I'm back in the swing of things a little bit since our trip. <laughs> and um, here we go. Again, I want to thank you. I want to always remember to thank you for um, uh, pre-ordering our book, Sarah and mine and my mom's uh, co called Common Sense Parenting. It's under our names. And uh, I, um, I'm going to put a link at the, in the description again. And boy, if you can pre-order, it would really help us know. Uh, and it helps the publisher know how many books to order and pull up and all that. So it's good. Yeah, we're going to just do this. And this if you live overseas, it is available on, uh, yeah, on Amazon. Amazon. Yeah, and I'll have that link in there. And we're going to be able to offer it uh, on ebook too. And so um, that's all going to work out for you. You can get it any which way. I know a lot of you maybe like to read ebooks. It's funny. Susan loves ebooks. I don't like them. I, I like a paper in my hand. And usually, depending on what I'm reading, if it's pleasure reading, it's, I don't do this, but usually whatever I'm reading, I've got a highlighter in my hand as well because I'm uh, highlighting things that I read. You can highlight on the E. You can, I, and you can highlight on the E, I know, but... Uh. And you can look at everybody else's highlights on the E. Yeah, you can, and I don't want to see everybody else. <laughs> um, okay, three cups, I'm a little bit over here, but three cups of uh, uh, sliced onion, put them all in all at once, and uh, got that butter, it's all melted. And just now all you're going to do, honestly, is you're going to get these sweated out and let them come down to a uh, translucent, get that sort of broken up, break up any pieces that need to be. Um, and uh, I just, all I do is keep stirring and uh, make sure, I don't want that big piece in there. I'm going to take that out. Yeah, the wrong one. There it is. I don't like that. Okay. And uh, like I said, all I'm going to do is um, get these a little bit more caramelized than normal. So they're gonna look pretty brown, but that gives that sweetness a little bit. So we're gonna let this run for a little bit and we'll come back at you when they get where they where I sort of want them to be. And that'll take about 15, 20, maybe 25 minutes, depending here. I see how fast I can get it done. Okay, this is coming along very nicely. And what I wanna do uh, I'm still a ways away yet, but it, they're starting to sort of get a little translucent. What I want to do though, is I want to add salt. And I don't want to do too much. I don't know uh, how you all feel, but I've eaten good uh, French onion soup at a restaurant and I've eaten bad. And typically, the times where I feel like it hasn't been good is it's either been too much uh, salt or too little cheese or something along that line, or even maybe it feels like it's three days old and so I think I can do probably just a good job at as good a job as most restaurants not all uh, by just doing it myself at home but I don't want to over salt so I get get enough to get these um, onions sweating nicely but then uh, I will test later on the broth to make sure it's to where I want it and uh, for my taste, for our taste, and we'll go from there. But I'm doing that. And then the other thing that I've done, I found some bread, like I said, in the uh, uh, refrigerator. I'm gonna make my own crouton. So I buttered one side. I'm just gonna stick this in the broiler for a few moments and get it toasted and get it nice and dry. And then um, uh, what I'll probably do is cut that into small little squares. It's not real thick, but uh, it'll work out really well in these uh, little cups and we'll be all set. By the way, these cups, Susan, yeah. I got today. That's really cool. They're really cool. They're nice color. And I got them up for $1.25 each up at the dollar store. And they, they work. $1.25 yeah. Yeah. So at the dollar store. Yeah, so that's how much this meal is costing. That plus, so they uh, used to be a dollar. Yeah, now well, it's, now it's $1.25, everything <laughs> in that store is now. Yeah, so see, these are getting good, but look at it, folks, keep it stirred. You know, you're gonna have to, on this part, uh, when the broth is cooking a little bit later, you can sort of halfway walk away from that because you're going to let that be at a slow simmer. And you're gonna run that simmer for about 30, 35 minutes. Um, 
and uh, once I put the broth in and the, the wine and uh, some flour in there to thicken things up but I don't want this burning here so you've got to keep this sort of rolling uh, as far as stirring it up. Do you still like that induction plate? You know what I love this induction plate love this induction plate I'm gonna put that link down in there too that it's it's called duck's top and it's one of the best things i've ever done i mean it i love this yeah, thing yeah use it use it my it's friend cool. over in australia i was telling her about this uh-huh and um um how easy and convenient it is and the reason i was telling her she they just built a new her and her husband just built a new uh house mm -hmm. like in the in the country it's beautiful man i'll tell you what did you take any pictures of that i don't know that i did <laughs> It's right on an airport. You can see the planes come in, small oh. private airport. It's so fun. And they've even got like a taxiway up to their house if they wanted to. Oh, but really? he doesn't fly or nothing like that. It's just where they ended up. But my point is she put in her kitchen an induction oh, countertop. countertop. So no gas, no electric, just I've induction. Heard of that. And she's loving it. And I said, Well man, I've got a niece that has one and hates it. She says, I don't know what's her deal. She said, I just love mine. So I said, well, there you That's go. That's great. So I've seen those. I tell you what, it when I saw hers, and by the way, then because of what she has, there's nothing underneath except more counter. Right. And then she has another area for her microwave and stove. Uh, uh, you know, stove. oven. oven. And oven, excuse yeah. me. And oh my goodness, is it ever a nice arrangement. And, um, wow. And, uh, I was jealous. Oh, I was jealous. Nice burners on it, you know, uh, four, I think four or five yeah. on the induction. And, How do you uh, see the burners? Only when you turn no, them on? No, when you look down, there's a line. There's a circle. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Painted on like, I guess, or etched in or something. See, these are starting to brown up now, just a little bit. And I'm going to let them go for another 10 minutes or so. So we'll come right back in a few moments. I'm going to check on my bread and then we should be done soon. Okay, as you can see now, I'm getting some nice caramelization on those onions. A little fond down at the bottom, but that's gonna come up with when I add the, uh, the wine and the beef stock for sure. I want just a little bit longer. I put my, while I was talking on that last little segment, I put my toast in and got to talking to y'all and I burnt my toast. So I had, uh, you know what, I think I can make that one work. The other three I threw out. That's what I was looking for right there. I'll keep that, we'll make that work, and if I need to, I can add some um, of my box croutons. Boy, I'll tell you, a broiler, I do that all the time, and you probably do too. A broiler can go so fast. And Especially you just, with buttered With bread. buttered stuff, yeah. yeah. And you just gotta keep your eye on it. Oh, my goodness sake. Yeah. Now, what I'm going to do here, uh, before I get my, um, uh, wine or beef stock in uh, Yeah, I really like the looks of that. That's gonna be just great. All right. I'm going to now add about one and a half tablespoons of All-purpose flour and I'm gonna cook that flour uh, With these onions for about five three to five minutes because I, I don't want that flour taste But I want it to be cooked down, but I still want these onions uh, coated and uh, thickened by that uh, that flour. Then I'm going to add one and a half tablespoons. Excuse me. I'm going to add two and a half tablespoons of um, the sherry, the the dry uh, red wine. This all oh, this is all going to be so good. So I'm cooking that flour a little bit. Get rid of that flour taste. You don't want that. I'm not too worried with that fond down at the bottom. That's going to come up nice and that's just full of flavor. So we don't care about that that much as far as being on the bottom. And they continue to brown, which is what I'm really after. Caramelized nicely. You can even go darker than this if you want. Honestly, it won't hurt. It'll just make it sweeter. So there are going to be pieces of onion in this or? Pieces? Well, they're, they're stringy things of onion, yeah. yeah. And there's some pieces where they didn't cut real tight, but it's fine. It keeps it interesting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when they're cooked like this. They yeah, you won't. Good. No, it'd be very, very good. And again, I don't want it to get too salty or briny or anything like that. I want a nice flavor. I want a nice beef flavor. I love the cheese. Croutons. Cheese is the best part. Oh, it really is, yeah. yeah. 
Okay, so there you go. So let me do this. Let me add about two and a half tablespoons of uh, the dry bread. There's two and about a half right there. And that's that. And let me cook that for a little bit. And again, look at, see all that fawn, that bottom stuff is all coming up nice, even with the flour that was there. And you just want to mix that around really good. Cook that for just a few minutes, just like that. That really flavors those onions like crazy. I yeah, mean, I that's just, so. oh, it's like that beef bourguignon that I do, you know, the same thing, that yeah, beef and wine. Right. Mm hmm. Just really makes it good. You'll have to make for them that tomato soup. That I you will do, do that. that. Yeah. Has cherry in it. That yeah. Is so it, yeah. Good. It is good. And that. Um, it's a really oh different my goodness. Flavor. But it has yeah. a very rich flavor again. Yeah. And again, that's what I like about this kind of cooking. It is rich in flavor. In yeah. fact, even with the time when this has cooked in the beef broth for about 35 minutes. I'm going to then come back. I'm going to add the thyme and mm -hmm. cook it for about five minutes in the broth and let that flavor release. And then, there we go. Uh, okay, now two and a half cups of, um, of beef stock. All right. And we're just, this is what's going to now simmer for about the next uh, 35 minutes. Alexa, set a timer for 35 minutes, please. 35 minutes. She is really slow today on the uptake here. It's driving me nuts. Okay, so I want to get that to a nice simmer. It's Saturday. Everybody else. Everybody's is on, the on vacation. They're yeah. all talking to Alexa. So. Mm -hmm. Something. Did I mess? <laughs> no, I said her oh, name. Oh, don't. Yeah, don't Surprise say her name. Oh my lord. I don't know what she'll do. pick up on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Great. So. Now, how long does that? About 30, 35 oh, minutes. So we've wow. got that set. My crouton is done. I'm going to try yeah. to salvage that a little bit. And my cheese is all ready, so I'm good there. Um, I'm good. Everything else is great. This is it. Time yeah. is going to go in a little bit later. We'll ladle that in half and half. We'll put the cheese on. We'll put it under the broiler. And that I will watch yeah. very That'll carefully. And then we're going to have a nice dinner here soon. Good. Can't all right. Wait. Okay, it's been 35 minutes. Alexa, you can stop. Oh, Alexa. Okay, um, boy, this really looks good, Sue. Now, look at the last three, four, five minutes. I'm putting in this thyme. I sneaked a taste before the time. Oh, did you really? Yeah. Is it good? good? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to stir that thyme in there, and I'm going to pull those out. I don't want to lose sight of them, but I think I should be able to find them. I, I need a ladle. I, I, this is what I'm going to have to use. I know. I we need a ladle. We've needed a big handled ladle for a yeah, while. Yeah, we have yeah. needed it. We always forget when we're in the store. You know, and I meant to, while I was out earlier, I meant to buy, I meant to buy a piece, of, a, a loaf of French bread, because we could have bread with it, and then I'd have better croutons, but this is going to have oh, to work. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. I guess it wasn't meant to be. No. Nope. I want to get that thyme in there just a little bit, and then I want to try it. I don't want it too loose, um, but I don't want it too thick at all. Um, if it gets too thick, it, 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 I don't like it. It's more stewy, and we I don't like it. We have a that. gravy spoon, but... Oh, see, now that is a perfect consistency. I, I like that. Yep. Yeah, and yet you can see it's a little thick from that that um, uh, flour, yeah. flour that we put yeah. in, yeah. Well, let me get you in there. Is it good? Let's see what you think. Oh man, that is really good. And it doesn't need any more salt. Nope. None whatsoever. Did the uh, beef broth have salt? Uh, beef broth, I think, does have salt in it. Well, no, but I mean, was it like unsalted? No. No, it I wasn't. don't. No, it wasn't. Oh, low sodium. You mean no? Yeah. It wasn't. No. Okay, then it it would yeah. have made enough. It would have salt. made enough. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's perfect. I'm not adding any more pepper or salt. That's no, really good. It really is. I am gonna grate down my Gruyere here. I love that cheese. Too. Oh, this is so good. And we got this at Aldi's, and we got it like for what two ninety nine or something. Yeah. It's just a great price. It you really can't was. find that for what we got for seven, probably around seven bucks at most other stores. 
Yeah, all these does the fancy cheeses they do. and dips yeah. and all that. Pretty inexpensive. Yeah, they really do. Oh yeah, that's funny. That would be great. I'll show you what we're going to do with that. I'll turn my broiler on. Well, I'm nervous about that part, but what it is. And I think I'm going to pull put these it on out a of pan here. too, because the cheese could drip. Do what? Oh, the cheese could drip if you don't oh, put yeah, it on yeah, a yeah. pan. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I planned on doing that. Yeah. Wait. That thyme is so good too, and it's fresh out the garden. I love the smell of it. Can you smell it? Yep. Mm. Thyme is one of my favorite. It's right there. Yep. Favorite, favorite. We can see it. Herbs. I know it is. Here and it doesn't matter if you do it. Nope. Okay, I think we're ready. We're gonna turn that off. This is done really nice. See if I can do this without spilling. Yeah, I can. So you could double or triple or whatever. You could easily, more. absolutely. Give me half a cup. Uh, what? Do you know? Half a cup. Oh, no, no, it's no. It's a big mug. No, 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 no. We're finishing this off, you and oh, I. Oh, we are? Yeah, and besides which, I need, um, those are big mugs, though. So. Let me just see something here, if I can do this. Yeah. There you go. See, you no, know, we each got about half, a little more than half a mug. Perfect. Oh, perfect. And then, what I'm going to do... Now, it won't go over the top of the mug. No, but, but we'll get that in there. Watch yeah. this. We'll put them out. And then, we're going to put two pieces of Swiss cheese down in there. Mmm. Just like that. And like that and then I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put this on top I should these are big mugs I didn't realize yeah that's okay yeah and then you stick it in the broiler yeah exactly all right we're Let gonna me put it on a tray we're gonna show you what it looks like when it comes out how's that like to set a timer for 90 seconds one minute and 30 seconds starting now set off oh yeah yeah it could have Round a little bit more. You want to do it a little longer? Yeah. Let's do it. Alexa off. I'm going to do it just a little bit longer. Maybe another 40 seconds. Okay, while you're doing that, I'm going to make a plug for myself. Yeah, go ahead. How do you like that? Mm -hmm. So, I do a blog, and uh, the link is in the description box, and I just write encouragement and stuff like that on it. But this last time, I did put a recipe for my favorite cookies. These are ginger snap cookies. So if you like ginger and you like snap, <laughs> you need to make these for Christmas. They take an, less than an hour, 40 minutes to make, honestly, to mix them up and make them. Especially when you have a mixer, which I never had, but now I do. So try it. There. there you My go. own plug. There you go. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is it ready? I think so. Okay. It's done. Now, honestly, I think it would have been nicer looking if I had had smaller cups yes. where it folds over, but it is done. And boy, I, I'm really good. excited about it. It's browned up really nice. It's all melted in there. This is going to be very, very, very good. Look at that. In fact, let me get another plate after all. Perfect. And we're going to have ourselves a nice dinner, even in hot Florida. We're going to eat yeah, it. Know, but it's perfect. some French onion soup. Yep. Isn't that great? Wow. All right. Hey, go ahead. Easy to make like you can't believe. I was very pleased with how it turned out. And uh, this one. Be creative. Too. Send us pictures yeah. if you make it and it turns oh, out yeah. looking Look even better this. than this. Look at there's a part of the crouton. We'd like to see what you've done. Mm -hmm. I need a big spoon. Oh no, let the cheese dribble down your face. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's good. That's good. That is good. All right. I'll have the recipe down below. Order it. Order our book. That'll be down there too, the link. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.